It's early in the morning on Ghana's Lake Volta. Children who should be at school are working on fishing boats. Trafficked from other parts of the country, they are victims of forced labor. In an operation codenamed BIA-2, Interpol joined forces with the Ghana Police Service and national authorities to rescue the children and arrest the traffickers. Interpol officials organized training workshops beforehand to ensure that the 80 police officers taking part were well prepared for a specialized child labor operation. We have experienced resource person to teach them how to uh, do the arrest, how to handle the victim, how to talk to the victim. And then I think once we have given them this training, we know tomorrow we'll have a successful operation. In a one-day raid, Ghana's police deployed four boats onto the lake. They rescued 116 children aged from 5 to 17 who had been working up to 14-hour days on the boats. Police arrested 30 suspected traffickers, confiscating their boats and nets. 28 of them were later sentenced in court for exposing children to danger and engaging minors in hazardous activities. Social workers and police officers interviewed the children to understand their needs and to build a picture of the overall situation. The children were then handed over to social services to be taken care of and reunited with their families. So exactly around 5 a.m. we set off. The two boats went to the east and the two also went to the west. And we gave ourselves time that within two or three hours we should be back. And that was exactly what we did. We were able to rescue 116 children and then also uh, effected arrest. And then we had 28 suspects. They are now in custody. We've taken their statement and we've cautioned them with the offense. We've taken statement from all the children that is the police statement. And then we've also done a little profile by the social welfare, and they have done, carried it out to all the victims.